Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, as you ever tell, yeah, like, um, the Dweller mod actually received an update, I think, because, like, I mean, like, I'm play I just played it a few minutes ago, and, yeah, something new happened. One, um, I can no longer sleep through a blood moon, so, yeah, and two, if you look closely at the picture of the world called Dweller, you'll notice there's someone there. <laughs> If you're wondering who it is, it's probably it's pretty much the most annoying dweller of all. Siren Head. Or as the person calls it, Jukebox Head. So let's just put it this way. I'm at the well put simply, I'm at the village right now, like the original village I was in. Because put simply, I'm trying to enchant a few more items. Like I've now got an enchanted bow with power, infinity, and unbreaking. And I've also added looting to my sword and gotten one silk touch book. Restoration and activity on my helmet, and now the only enchant I need is Feather 4 and 4, but it's night time, as you can tell, as I just said, Blood Moon. I can't sleep, and I think my best alternative right now is to leg it out of this village right this second. If you're... So, that's what I'm going to do, because like, I don't want to risk those villagers' lives. It took me so long just to get those enchants. So, I think my best alternative right now is just to get in this world, and run. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I know I'm gonna annoy Siren Head doing it, but hey, if it keeps the villagers safe, it keeps the villagers safe. If someone's thinking, dude, why not fight him? Uh yeah, you expect me to fight Siren Head? Really? Yeah, not a chance. At this point I'm gonna call him TV Head. Because it literally looks like he's got a TV on him. And also, I think the person must have changed up one of the mobs, or he just looks different during the night, because there's one of them right beneath where I'm standing. No! No! No, 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 no! I was... No! <laughs> I need to run. I just need to run. I just need to run. Like, he's gonna die. He's literally about to die. Siren Head's pissed. That is a terrifying sound. Like, literally, I'll prove to you that I can't sleep in a second. Look at whatever the hell this guy is. Like, what are you? Like, are you the the um the watcher or something? Wait, I think he is. Yeah, he literally is the watcher. What the hell? What the hell happened to you? Yeah. What the? Um, excuse me. How did I just get hit? How did I just get hit? I demand an answer to how I just got hit. Get lost, Fog! But yeah, like, let me show you I can't see through the Blood Moon. Wait, is it even the Blood Moon anymore? I think it still is. No monsters nearby. Fuck off! No amount of rest can pass this night. So basically, right now, I cannot sleep, so I just need to run from this village. Like, I don't want, like I said, I'm not risking their lives. They just got damaged by a zombie, after all. Like, I mean, I'll just go to, like, the water over here, and... Oh, look, an Enderman. Cool. I really don't care about them right now. I'm just going to go into the water and try and go under the water. Oh my god, these guys have speed. Nice shot, mate. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I am not fighting a powered-up zombie. Especially a baby, well, not fighting a powered up baby zombie, I should say. Because like a powered up, like a powered up normal zombie, I can take that. A powered up baby zombie though? Yeah, hell no. I don't have Depth Strider right now, by the way. I, wait, do I have? Yeah, okay, I've got the Depth Strider book, but I want to wait until I have Feather Falling enchantment as well, so I can put them together to not risk the too expensive thing showing up. So yeah, like this is pretty much all I know about the update. Like, I mean, maybe the um the man from the fog, I mean watcher, always looked like that when it was nighttime, but I don't remember him looking like that yesterday. Fuck off. I should have remembered you were here. What the hell? Did he just drop something different or am I crazy? Stop calling me a posse, bitch. Like honestly, if it wasn't for the blood moon, you'd be dead. I mean, because I'll be fighting you. I mean, I can still fight you right now, but I'm not going to bother wasting my time. 
Yeah, that's not a joke. I feel like he's just a waste of my time at this point. Why was he here? Hello, guys. Don't worry. I'm not here to harm you. If I was, you'd all be dead. Oh my god, he's swimming. No wonder I can hear him close by. I was thinking, why can I hear him close by? He's swimming towards me, of course. You know what, I can actually go check out the shipwreck that I know about now, seeing as I've got Aqua Fancy. Because I mean, I could check out all the time, of course. But like, I think like the chest was underneath a bunch of blocks. So, yeah, like I couldn't mine them in time. What the hell? Do you have up health for some shit? I think they must have resistance, because like that would normally kill a zombie. Oh, you wanna go, mate? Yeah, you wanna go. Yeah, you gotta try it. And, okay, you just threw it without even having the animation whilst you were still swimming, which you've never been able to do before. Like, since when the hell can Drown do that? Like, since when the hell can they swim and throw? Also, in real life news update, I feel my appetite decreasing weirdly. Like, like just two days ago, like I just took a few bites of shreddies and immediately felt like no longer eating right after that. Not even joking. But simply though, like I think I might know what the cause is. I mean, I don't intend to stop from doing like what I think the cause might be. But <sighs> for you guys that who might feel uncomfortable. You guys might feel uncomfortable from the fact that I'm about to say it, but I think it's to do with the fact that I am starting to frequently masturbate again. Like, I know, like, I, like, hey, I just warned you guys, you were probably going to feel uncomfortable, so don't say I didn't basically just warn you. Like, put simply, like, I I'm just going to explain what I mean by it, so if you guys don't want to feel more uncomfortable from hearing this, then just skip forward in the damn video. But put simply, yeah, um, in the past, like, I would, you know, do it. Like, if you know what I mean by do it, like, uh, like I'm just going to say do it instead of saying masturbate. Like, but yeah, like, I would do it multiple times during the day of being honest. Like, and I know, yes, I shouldn't be bothered to talk about this because it's weird to say, especially in a video. But yeah, put simply, yeah, I did it multiple times in a day, but then... Eventually, I started lessening it to being like once or twice a day, and over the past two days, I've once again done it multiple times. Like, and I think maybe it's just like that my body is not used to it as I've, you know, grown out of doing it. So maybe over the next few days, my appetite might grow back. But right now, yeah, my appetite feels like it's an all-time low. I mean, it definitely seems to be returning, though. I won't lie, because like I said, like a few days ago, I... It took a few bites of shreddies and immediately felt like no longer eating, but this morning I just finished a whole bowl of Rice Krispies and a piece of toast. What the hell would I just say? <laughs> Piaf! Like, uh, I'm going to say piece of toast. So yeah, I think my appetite's just slowly returning. Like, it might just be a side effect of the fact that my body's just not used to it anymore. Because like, honestly, like, I remember doing it a lot in the past, and I don't remember my body ever feeling like this. That was probably because my body was used to it. So yeah, I like, and also I am quite sure that it is to do with that because, put simply, damn it, you damn dolphin! Uh, I didn't mean to harm that dolphin. Like, I swear it wasn't even on my screen when I hit it. Like, what the hell? Like, you can't tell me that dolphin was on my screen when I hit it. Like, it, there was no, no doubt about it. It was not on my screen. Like, that is some bullshit that I hit that dolphin. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, that dolphin's on my side. He's cool with the fact that I just murdered two of his family members. Hello, buddy! You can't shoot an arrow, bitch! Get wrecked. The, the sun is shining, so let's go check up on the villagers. <sighs> oh, you might... Have... And I hope that Siren Head's gone. Like, I know that, like, he's, like, called Jukebox Head and all that. Like, probably because of copywriting issues and whatnot. But still, I'm going to call him Siren Head. Like, because it's what he is. So, like, at this point, he's TV Head, if you ask me. Or maybe that's just his night, his blood moon cell. Yeah, I know to definitely not piss off Siren Head. And, like, that way, like, with him, I won't be able to re-roll trades because... 
Well, if I break the blocks too many times, he'll just get immediately annoyed and hit me right through the blocks I'm hiding in. So, yeah. Gotta be careful there. The Blood Moon is saying. Thank fucking Christ for that. I was getting sick and tired of the fucking Blood Moon. Time to see if Siren Head's still around. Please let him be gone. Like, otherwise, I cannot trade. And also, I'm going to have to count every villager, make sure every villager is at the same workstation, make sure they all have the same trade. Because, for all I know, maybe when I was running, a zombie could have killed a villager, and then the Iron Golem had to kill the zombie villager. I swear to God. Like, I mean, hey, if they killed a Fletcher, I'm not too bothered by it. Because, like, I mean, they're just sticks forever. But if they kill one of my book tradesmen, I'm going to be annoyed. Seriously, can someone explain to me how the hell. I got hit when I was standing on this, or was it, or was I hit by a skeleton? Because I'm guessing that's the only explanation, really. That I was hit by a skeleton. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Yeah, I'm not joking. I don't care too much about the, you know, things. Oh, yeah. Okay, so. Oh, one of them definitely died. One of them died. Are you taking the piss? Also, these blocks are from Siren Head, of course. Rest in peace, this iron golem. You will be missed. You fought bravely and with honor. A moment of silence for that iron golem, please. I'm joking, by the way. Like, honestly, like, I mean, yes, he fought with honor. I will not lie. But still, like, you don't need to be silent for him. He's a digital thing anyway. But respect to that iron golem for fighting the good fight. He did not back down, and he did not give up. Nick A30 will be proud. <laughs> oh, I just had to go and say that, didn't I? Damn my brain! <laughs> uh, okay, let's see who we lost. I mean, honestly, like I said, if it's a Fletcher, I honest to God don't care. I, I honest to God don't. So let's see. Power. Efficiency. You know what? Let me open a Google document and write out each enchant that there is. So give me a second. Um, what's Google documents on this thing? I forget where it is, even though it's a Chromebook. Speaking of which, an Acer Chromebook, which I just recently... Oh, no, Acer's Chromebook, which I well mind that it's actually the pretty much the worst. The, well, it, like an Acer... And some other brands are like some of the worst brands possible. Like, and I know that a Chromebook is pretty damn trash, but still, organize your document with tabs. Shut up. I don't care. Our efficiency. I probably spelled that wrong, but I don't give a shit. So let's see. Yep. This goes efficiency, sharpness. Um, okay, hold on, sir. Aqua Affinity. Can you all stop banging in front of me, please? Mending. One of my men's tradesmen died as well, by the way, guys. So they had to replace him with this guy. <laughs> I'd rather not, since it's a much more expensive price than the one I went for, but whatever. Do what you gotta do. Action. I mean, wait, actually, let's check the Fletchers. Like, they're gonna be faster to check. Why am I just opening them when I can see them? Okay, so, yeah, it was definitely a Librarian that died. You know what? Actually, let's check all of them. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Wait, what am I doing? I can see if they actually managed to breed it all. Like they had love hearts going, but like we can see they even managed to make a child at all. Now, yeah, one second, I've got an idea on how to respect the fallen um, iron golem. Sir, as you fought with honor, I will repair you. You fought with honor and protected this village, so I thank you for that. <laughs> Why am I suddenly doing this to myself? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, baby! 
you know what? At this point, I don't care. Like, I'll come back here one day to be like, you know what? For the mimic sheep that I had to kill, I'm just going to kill a random sheep. Yeah, for now, I just need Depth Strider anyway. And so, you know what? Let's go on with it. We may have lost a villager, but it was a worthy loss. A worthy loss sounds so messed up to say. But, no! You did not just do that. Wait. It actually was a Fletcher. Yeah, because, like, look, like, it clearly was a Fletcher because, like, otherwise he wouldn't have just done that. We lost a Fletcher. I'm actually more happy about that, if I'm being completely honest. You know what? Very well. You are free to live your life as a Fletcher. I'll just wait for that child to grow up. And it, but if he becomes a nitwit, this bow is going straight to his face. Like, I fucking hate the, nit the fact that nitwits can exist in this. Like, it just makes it so pointless. Like, you wait for a Fletcher to grow up, and then it's like, I'm a being nitwit. It's like you died, boy. Like I'm not gonna put a bug. It's like by the way, I'm just gonna drown him. Oh, hello, sheep man. Where are you? I hear you. Hello. Oh wait. You know what? Screw it. We're repairing both iron golem. Oh, Gutman's back. Hey, bitch. You are finally repaired. And now I shall repair your other golem to full health. They deserve it, after all. They protected this village with honor. And I can respect that. Do I have a blast furnace with me? No, I do not. Otherwise, I would just burn up these so like, I could spare a bit more space in this chest. I mean, I can make a blast furnace right now. You know what? Yeah, let's do that. Pardon me. Uh, and that was just a hiccup. Anyone wondering? Okay, villager. I understand you missed the, the fallen ones, but honestly, hey, they served you well. Well, <laughs> the Thatcher served you well, but all he served me for was these! <laughs> Which I honestly don't mind, hey. I'm not joking, like, that's all the Fletchers are really worthwhile for. An easy source of emeralds. I mean, yes, I bought my bow from the, um, the, you know, Fletchers. I mean, hey, that was just a regular bow, for God's sake. Well, what, like, I could just literally made one myself, just getting three string and three sticks. And just saved a few emeralds. But I chose not to. Why is there a cage floating in the air? Okay, I swear. Like, if I notice the blood moon rising, though, I am legging it out of this village. All right, are you a mimic sheep? And by the way, they still turn into those cute little sheep constantly. Like when you hit them, like well, like not all the time, but like every now and again. Like I question why they do it, but you know what? It's cute as hell, so I really don't care. I could change their difficulty up. You know what? I feel like we should make this book just so I can check it, but because uh, I don't have the book with me right now, but I honestly don't care about the book. I, I want to, like, if he still looks like that, though, like, what's him by Siren Head? I, like, I want to, like, if it actually changed his appearance in the book as well. But, like, you can see, like, that wasn't just Siren Head himself. Like, that was nowhere near what Siren Head normally looks like. Anyway, don't have to worry about these villagers taking up a job on this, because their jobs are already locked st in straight. Like, they literally can't change their job. There goes Poppy barking her head off already. As it, like, there's literally nothing happening out there. I swear she's just doing it for attention. And I'm not joking, she is just doing it for attention, guys. You guys might be thinking, no, there's probably something walking past there. I have my window wide open. So if there was something moving past that fence, I can hear it. She's just literally barking to try and get attention right now. The only attention she'll be getting, though, is me smacking the fucking shit out of her. 
for being an annoying fucking dog and never learn to just simply shut up. I don't know like the that's class of animal cruelty, but guys, does it sound like I give a shit? Because I can tell you one thing for certain. I do not give a single fucking shit at all. Like, if she's going to bark her head off, I'm going to keep smacking her. I don't care. I, like, honestly, the cat, if, blah, 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 if the police won't come to my door and arrest me or something, go for it. So what? Honestly, if she just won't simply learn a lesson, I'll teach her the lesson myself. Through pain. Hey, Death. <laughs> Who just made that noise? I don't mean the noise from death. Fight me, bitch! Fight me, bitch! Come on, you wanna fight so bad? You wanna fight? Come on, yeah, fight me! Fight me, you what? <laughs> what is this? What the hell was that noise? <laughs> that noise was perfect. Come on, pussy. You you want to fight me so bad? You want to fight me so bad? Come here. Come here. I'm not afraid of you, boy. I'm not afraid of you. Like, well, I mean, I am sitting down in the water, so you can basically not attack me, but still. I, oh my god. He's... You can't run. Yeah, mate. Says the guy who just ran away from a fight. Pussy. Like, seriously, he's saying you can't run even though he just ran from a fight. Like, yeah, mate. Sorry, but yeah, I mean, honestly, he was at, like, I'm, I'm going to give it to him. He was winning that fight. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if I wasn't in the water, he was going to win that fight. No questions asked. Like, I'm sorry, like, he would have won a thousand times round before I won. Like, I don't know, like, if I can build upwards and he can't reach me, but from the looks of things, I don't know. Peekaboo, I see you. Yeah, fuck you. Of course you do. Like, you're probably looking at me right now. Like, where's that 9,999 health bar? Like, seriously, where are you, boy? I know you're around here somewhere. Woo! You know how long I've been waiting for this moment? Woo! I'm about to make a name for myself. And yeah, that was a line from Death Wolverine. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Is that the same baby version from over here? Yeah, I think it is. All right. I was thinking it might be a new baby version. I was like, what the hell? Let's take off the... Let's just make sure that... We... Yeah. Like, this is where I keep the version when I'm training, as you guys saw. Because I don't think like, that way it makes it more safe. As long as Siren Head isn't around. Shut it, kid. Just grow up so I can trade with you. The moment that the baby version is growing up, I'm going to end the stream. But yeah, my god, at least now I know that Unseen Death is actually really powerful. Like, I really don't know how to actually trigger him properly, though. Because, like, I mean, honestly, he's not one I have to fight much, but at this point, from what I just saw... I'm glad I don't have to fight him much, really. Jesus Christ. He's strong as hell. Wait, did I say I need death right just a few minutes ago? If so, I meant that I needed feather falling, of course. I, and sooner or later, I might go to the nether, by the way. But just not yet. But, gr oh, wait, I just realized, now that I know Siren Head's back... This world's going to be so much more painful. To be honest, I actually forgot all about Siren Head. But now that I know he's back, this is going to be torment. <laughs> because honestly, Siren Head just makes it so annoying. It's like, if you create too much noise around him, he's just going to attack you and he won't leave you alone. Unless, of course, he's been updated to now actually leave you alone. But I highly doubt he has. Ow. Oh! Um, okay, yeah. You just hit me through my shield, why don't you?
I love when the, they can hit you through your shield. Don't you guys? Like, when you're just like, you clearly have your shield up, and yet they still hit you through it. That is just so nice. Like, fuck you, Minecraft. Seriously, like, my shield was up quite clearly. Like, and it was up within enough time to make it so like there was... Whoa! To make it so like there was enough time to, um, you know, I really just did that. Like, there was enough time to make it so... Well, you know what I'm talking about, okay? Just like, there was enough time for, like, without the thing that makes it so, like, if you don't have it up within a, a second of it, then it's like, they just, it doesn't count. Like, I had plenty of time still up with my shield there. Like, at least a whole last second. So what now? Do I need up like 10 seconds before they hit me or something? How did my chest plate not take damage? Like, and yet all the rest of my armor did. I was also just questioning how the hell is this furnace still going? Then I just saw and remembered. Yeah. Um. Oh, wait. I, yeah, I just remembered. He's not locked in yet. It's almost like we're in by the um the Fletcher over here. We need to lock him in. Um, where is the new Fletcher? Show him to me, or you, or you Fletchers die. You're green. Don't know how I haven't already upgraded you to master at this point. Where is he? Where the hell is the Fletcher? I I mean, oh, that's where he is. <laughs> I thought he was still a Fletcher because it showed like it didn't show the green ones. Mate, don't worry. This won't be your job for long. Hello there. <laughs> like, mate, if you wanna fight me Get lost, you prick! I can see you over there. I wonder if an iron golem will fight him. That would be a cool thing to find out. Like, I mean, I doubt it, because I know he can't be fought. Like, I've tried hitting him one, multiple times. Like, what? I'll let me try hitting him when he goes to me now. I see, I literally can't hurt him. I literally cannot hurt him. And now I think that's just gonna piss off Goatman. So we're gonna be dealing with Goatman in a minute. Oh dear! Goatman's here! I just pissed him off! You know what? Let's get in the water and battle him! Come on, bitch! Come on! I'm not having you battle these villagers. I know you don't give a shit about them, but still. What the hell?! Okay, he's been updated as well! So now I can't fight him in water! Fucking hell! What the heck? I did not know that! He he literally can walk on water! Bro has turned into God! Bro is literally Jesus, or whoever the hell it was who walked on water in the Bible. Like, bro has literally just become a God! So he's gonna be tougher now. <laughs> Oh god, what the hell has happened? This guy really has given these guys something. I need to protect those villagers more as well, but I'll protect them more when I have my fletch when I have my final enchantment. Like I'll I'll build a bit of a base around you. Like I'll destroy this, destroy their beds, um destroy these tables, and make a new area for them. It won't be much and it sure as hell ain't gonna be pretty, but it'll be something to keep them safe for life. And they'll be happy about it, or they'll just die. Because I'll slaughter them all. Why was the compost there? Ugh. I'm starting to feel hungry right now, but I feel like I'm only going to grab a small snack, because like I said, I feel like I'm losing my appetite. And I can tell it's definitely not from just eating the same food over and over again. I mean, maybe it is, but then why would it 
then why would my appetite return so fast after? But I'm not joking. I did not know Goatman could do that. Like, so now we've got some new threats to worry about. So I have to literally build up to fight him and hope he doesn't crawl upwards towards me somehow. Because I'm not joking. Every now and again, he can crawl up some blocks. And yeah, like just I just have to be so careful now. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should just destroy this blast furnace and lock this guy in as a Fletcher. Yeah, let's quickly do that. Like, that way he can just, you know, join the fellows. And that way, I, do, I don't have to worry about, like, him not being able to lock in anytime soon. If someone makes a Fortnite joke out of that, I swear to God. <laughs> like, I think I just already said that, didn't I, earlier. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be a Blood Moon right now, so that's good to see. Dude, I don't know why you're standing on that, by the way. But honestly, yeah, I'm wondering what else has been updated. Like, has the man from the fog... Like, wait, maybe it was... Maybe the man from the fog actually did hit me when I was standing on top of that thing. And it's because he's been updated to now be more powerful. And... Goatman, get lost. After I know how powerful you are, I am not fighting you. Actually, you know what? Let me grab some cobblestone and see what he can do. Let's see what he's capable of. But I'm going to stay near the water, so if I have to, I can jump into it and dodge him. Because like, I can just swim under water, because I can hold my breath now. Do not climb up these blocks, you bitch. Wait! The health has been decreased. Like, it was 280 before. Perfect, but he can still teleport me. He can still teleport me. That's got to be his most annoying attack possible. He can literally teleport you. Bro, stop dancing circles around me. You could see my expression right now. I've basically got like a blank expression on my face. It's just like, seriously, bro. Like, you, you, this, this what you're gonna do? So Goatman can still teleport me. Like, I'm not joking though. Like, that is a severely annoying ability that he has. Like, the fact that you can just teleport me to anywhere you want. As soon as I start attacking you, well, not as soon as I start attacking you, attacking you, but like, you know what I mean by it. Like, honestly, like, that's just actually annoying. But I mean, I guess I understand it because, like, it makes it more of a fair fight between them. But I mean, still, like, mate, I'm sorry. Like, no matter what happens, this is never going to be a fair fight. Like, the guy has 250 health and does like two arts of damage to me every hit, even though I'm wearing protection, maxed out diamond armor. Well, he just bugged off fast. Like, he didn't want the smoke. Like, I did not expect him to just disappear that fast. But, like, seriously, like, like how can you, like, if you guys try telling me, no, it's actually a fair fight between you and him, like, if he can teleport you and all that, like, and he can deal two hearts of damage to you, even though you're wearing protection, maxed out diamond arm, I, I'm like, I'm sorry, how? Like, if I fight him close rain, I can hardly keep my shield up, because he'll, for fuck's sake. I really do not want to fight him. You know what, let's test him in water. I don't know what he's like with water. But this is going to be risky. What if I shoot him? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was a bad idea. That was a bad move. Please tell me he can't walk on water. Okay, he can't walk on water. Good. I mean, he is technology right now, after all. But he's powerful. Well, he basically can walk on water, but, like, not properly, unlike the others. Like, unlike Goatman could. 
Now I've got to you're powerless against me, bitch. Oh my god, he even drops a new piece. What's he called now? I, I need to see what he's called. I need, wait, he even drops a disc? Oh yeah, I remember that part. I, I need to see what he's called now from it, because like, it will tell me his name. Like Maybe he's still called Siren Head. I, I mean, if he is, then honestly, I'm cool with it. Let's see. The Watchtower. Wait, do you think that's actually still Siren Head? You know what? Fuck it, I'm making the book. I'm making the book. <gasps> we got Precipice! Like, I'm like, that is one of the best ones I've ever heard. No questions asked. And this guy's finally grown up. Nice. Now, mate, you're going to become a librarian. I don't care. Okay, so let's make the book and see if he's replaced Siren Head. Yeah, he has replaced Siren Head. Look, because Siren Head's where the Watchtower is. The Watchtower likes to scream and haunt you with broadcast. He, however, he intercepted. However, you better not be too loud around the all-seeing one. So even Watcher has been upgraded. Doesn't like to be what. So now we've got the all-seeing one and the Watchtower. Fucking hell. This just got heavy. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I, I want to know if I still have my Siren Head pieces, though. Like, what if it just removed them from me? I mean, to be fair, if it did, I really don't care. Or maybe it, ret or maybe it turned them into Watchtower pieces. That's actually a cool name, though. But you know what? The moment I get back to my base, I'm playing this disc. I don't care. I'm making a jukebox. I'm wasting a diamond on it. And I'm, make, and I'm playing that disc. Because this disc is literally one of the best ones of all time. I'm sorry. Like, you cannot convince me otherwise. You literally cannot. You know what? Actually, screw it. I'm doing it now. Like, I want you guys to hear it in case you haven't somehow already heard it. Uh, where the hell's my boat? There it is. Like, I'm literally going to play this disc for you so you guys can hear it. And I'm gonna, and then I'm going to come straight back to this village and trade. Like, like, we need to check up on our loot. Like, well, I need to check on my loot, I should say, but still. I really should get in there and chair, because, I mean, don't get me wrong. This chair's fine, but if you could see, like, the part of it that I sit on. um, Yeah, let's put it this way. It has seen better days. <laughs> Like, I mean, like, it's not, like, terrible, but, like, there's a few, like, um, rips going through it. Like, not enough, to, like, so you can see the fabric inside, but, like, there's a few rips on it, is all I'm going to say. Yeah, you guys need to hear this disc. Like, this is the best disc possible. Like, screw pig step. Like, and yes, I know I've definitely just annoyed a large portion of the community, probably, by saying that. But, yeah, screw pig step. This disc here is the best one possible, if it's the one I think it is, uh, is like, which I'm pretty sure it might be. I mean, maybe I'm wrong and I'm thinking of a different disc. But yeah, honestly, this one is better than Pig Step, if it is the one I think it is. And also, there's a mushroom biome out there, as you guys noticed. Like, I actually didn't notice until I was coming back, and it was also during the time when I was streaming, but I decided, nah, I'm not going to bother uploading that video. You know what? Let me actually check something. I'm going to go on the wall at the shipwreck and see if I can find the chest there. So now the Watcher and the old seeing one. You know what? I'm just going to call him the one and the Watcher. Like, seeing as he's called Watchtower, I'm just going to call him Watcher now. So now the Watcher, who was the one who watches, is now, like, no longer going to be titled as that for me. <laughs> wow. That, who knew that this would happen? But now I've got to be careful, because if he shows up as I am, you know, trying to, um, what's it called? You know trade with the villagers and see if I can manage to get the book I want from the librarian? Yeah, I basically can't do that until he's dead. Why did I just whisper? <laughs> I sorry, sometimes I just like think my thoughts out loud. 
Uh, is that the shipwreck there? I honestly cannot tell right now. <laughs> yeah, that is the shipwreck. So I know it's not on this end, but like, there's a room just down there. But like, look, let me prove it to you. No chest. The only part of the shipwreck that continues is right here. Yeah. Ow! Wait, you can't hit me in a door. Bitch, get lost. But honestly, like, that... Like, honestly... Siren Head looks cooler as the Watchtower than he did as Siren Head, if you ask me. I tell you what, guys, tell me in the comments, which one do you think he looks better as? Siren Head or the Watchtower? Like, I mean, honestly, me personally, Watchtower definitely looks cool, I won't lie. I mean, I probably never showed you how he looked when he was Siren Head on a video. But, I mean, maybe I did. If I did, then you'll be able to see for yourself. If I didn't, then, well, don't expect me to be able to find a way to show you. Because I won't be able to. But honestly, it better turn my my Siren Head pieces to Watchtower pieces. That sounds cool, because like, it's like what you're thinking about like those little balance. By the way, I also want to extend that building to like make it more of a tower design now, but... I'm waiting until I get my enchants first, because put in back, I want to like make it go sloping downwards in a way, like kind of like a pyramid tower design in a way. If you get what I mean, like, like you guys probably do understand what I'm talking about. Like, because I just want it to be large. Because, like, honestly, right now it's just not how I want it to look. Like, really, I mean, well, it is, but it isn't at the same time. Also, as you can see, I've mined out a lot of trees around the area. So once we get into the base, I'm going to start playing this disc. And if it is the disc, I think it is, then yeah. You, wait, hold on. I wonder the Mimic now can transform into a different mob as well. But I mean, I doubt he can because like that would just be wrong if you ask me. Like seriously, I question what the hell they made happen with the cheap Mimic that like makes it just as cute as it is. Because, like, I'm sorry, like, when you hit it, sometimes it just transforms into a little cute baby sheep. If you watched my previous video on this world. Wait, I wonder. Do you think Siren Head... <laughs> oh, I'm going to continue. By the way, this is some stone that I've got smelting. Because, honestly, if you look in um, here, I've got a bunch of it that I want to smelt. Yeah, uh, where's my diamond? Okay, yeah, so it does turn into watchtower pieces. What the hell? The all-seeing one trophy. Did I leave my trophy pieces behind? What the hell? Uh, just got this. something on my foot. Watch there. I'll take a look later. Um. Yep, we need to play this disc right now. We need to play it. Like I don't care. Please be the disc I think you are. Yes! Get in there! You guys ready for it? You better be. Get ready. This one is just way too good to not do this to. Like, I'm sorry, you cannot convince me this is not better than Pig Step. You literally cannot. Like, you can try for hours on end. You will never convince me. So don't even bother wasting your time trying. Like, seriously, do not waste your time. You cannot convince me. You cannot.
Once this disc finishes, I'll end the stream. I know I said I'd end it earlier when that villager grew up, but honestly, you guys just have to listen to this whole track first. Let's take a look at the book real quick. Yeah, okay, so the Mimic's still three uh, different mobs. Man from the Fog, Goatman. Why does Watchtower just look so cool? Cavern Dweller. I mean, I call him Cave Dweller, but he is called Cavern Dweller. Also, by the way, as you probably noticed, yeah, I have some shrines. That, wait, I have a shrine right here. Like, wait, wait, what the hell? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's probably Watchtower's shrine. So it removed it from me because he turned into Watchtower overnight or something. You know what? I actually want to test if he will become responsive to this sound as well. Or if he doesn't notice this. I mean, most likely he will. And he's going to end up killing me. But I'm willing to take that risk. Listen, leave me a comment, guys. Uh, what? Which one do you think is better? This or... um. You know, pig step. Me personally, like I said, this is just better than pig step altogether. I'm sorry. Like, pig step can eat this track's ass! Like, bow down, boy! Hey, Goatman! Wait, do not freeze this wall, mate. I know you're there, mate. Don't worry. I don't care. How do you. Hey, Goatman, how do you like this tune? Do you like it? No? Well, fuck you. Like, too bad that whilst I'm here, you have to stay here as well. Oh, you mother... You hairy motherfucker. That is just so cruel. Like, that, like that's what I hate the most. When it brings in two dwellers to fight. Like, instead of it being one dweller, you have to worry about two. Hey, buddy! You know what? He reminds... He kind of reminds me of one of those people. I mean, those monsters in um, Roblox Doors. Like, what's the name of the guy? Like, the, like the guy who has the eye for a head. Like, what's that guy's name? Because, like, I've only played Doors once, if I'm being honest. So it's like, I'm no longer interested in Roblox at all. Like, can, like, like t he literally reminds me of him. Okay, I actually want this thing to just end already so I can end this stream. <laughs> Get lost, Goatman. I don't care about you anymore. Like, you're not as big of a threat. Well, you are... What am I talking about? You're a big threat still. Like, I'm, did I just lose brain cells in that whole sentence? And the answer is yes, guys. Don't worry. I know I just lost brain cells. Like, why am I like, can't believe I just said you're not a threat anymore. Even though I literally said earlier, he has become more threatening because now he has turned into God himself. He's going to sit there, huh, mate? Can I shoot you with an arrow? No, I cannot. You are literally immortal to arrows from here. I'm not entering that room, mate. I don't care. You know what? Wait. I think he's stuck in the window. Yeah, he's stuck. He literally can't do shit. Get wrecked, noob! Why am I keeping my sugar? Yeah. I need to organize these chests. That's why I also want to increase the space, because I basically have nowhere to put a chest. I think I can leave the house as well and he can't chase me. 
Yeah, he literally can't do shit against me. Like, he's literally powerless. You are weak compared to me, old goat. I would say old man, but he ain't a man. You know, what? actually, I could say old man because he's called Goat Man. By the way, who cares about Frostwalker? Because, like, honestly, that guy's got Frostwalker on quite clearly. Oh, I'm just going to show you a pack I want to add to this world later on in the future. Um, hold on. Forest craft. That actually looks pretty cool. But yeah, um, hold on. Um, filter. No, not that. I want to add this to it. Horror survival. As you can see, it adds multiple different mobs. <laughs> like, oh, fuck ton. I don't know if those villagers will attack me. Adds multiple armor. And, whoa, I did actually notice the Dracula boss there. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Oh, God, that spider is terrifying. Yeah, maybe I don't want to add it. And we got this scary knife pack, which I actually didn't notice about. You know what? Maybe I might add this as well. Like, because I want to make this world as powerful as possible against me. Like, I basically want it so I can't rest. Well, I can rest, but it's like, you know, like, it's starting to be difficult. It's like, I don't want to make it too challenging for myself, of course. Because, it's like, don't get me wrong. I'm not bad at the game, but I'm not that good. Oh, I think that's watching. Hope you enjoyed this live stream. See you in my next one. Bye for now.